And as coastal communities still rebuild from those devastating storms in January, emergency crews in southern Cumberland and York counties are warning people that their response times may be affected by tomorrow's storm. Due to that expected coastal flooding, crews say there may be some times when they are unable to respond to flooded areas for up to two hours before or after high tide, which is expected to peak around noon. They are asking that coastal residents plan accordingly and take proper precautions. They also recommend preparing for potential power outages. The city of Saco is limiting access to some roads near the water beginning at 9 a.m. tomorrow. And the Scarborough Fire Department is asking everyone who does not live in coastal neighborhoods to avoid those areas through 5 tomorrow evening. If you live along the coast, you can check in with your local public safety department to learn about any potential road closures or other storm related information. And after those powerful storms a few months ago, state and federal agencies are advising Mainers that damaged infrastructure from those weather events will be vulnerable during high tide tomorrow. The National Weather Service issued a coastal flood warning for high tide and warns low lying homes and businesses could be submerged and significant shoreline erosion is possible. The main emergency management agency is also warning that heavy snow in the mountains and foothills will cause hazardous driving conditions. For the latest storm forecast and updates, be sure to download the free New Center Main app and be sure to sign up for alerts too.